What's up TMNT fans, Omega TMNT channel here with a tutorial video for Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Epic Sewer Layer Playset. And this box is gigantic. As you can see on the box, it is 43 inches tall. It has four levels of play, seven rooms. And if you look on the sides of the box, like either the left or right side or the top, you do get to see what the, the rooms are, which uh, I'm gonna show in a little bit. And this comes with about 50 pizza points. 50, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so if I go up here, as you can see, some of the rooms that comes with this playset, you get Leo's room with rotating weapons rack, Raph's room with a uh, workout bench launcher, Donnie's lab with slide-in entrance, and Mikey's room with a slide escape. All right, and if I rotate the box and look on the side here, you can see some of the features it has. It has a hidden projectile launcher, basketball hoop attack. Going down here, adjustable skateboard ramp, arcade level, secret barrel release. And I'm not sure if there's anything on the other side. So yeah, over 20 awesome features and it's listed all there on the side of the box. So I'll just hold the uh, camera right there so you can read all of that. You know, you could pause the video and uh, read all the, everything on the list there if you want. All right, so uh, I'm going to open it now and dump out all of the pieces. All right, so when I opened the, the main box here, I found out that all of the pieces are actually included in another box, but uh, what are not included in that box, but are separate um, is the instructions right here and some of the uh, background pieces, which are made out of cardboard, of course. And inside the other box that comes inside the Epic Sewer Layer gigantic playset box right here that I opened up and left to the side, uh, you can see lots and lots of pieces. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> How am I going to do this? Uh, maybe I'm just gonna lay out all the pieces on the floor and th that way I will be able to identify them easily and uh, put everything together. All right.
Hey guys, I'm almost done. I just gotta put on this uh, background piece here, as you can see, and there are extra pieces to help you secure that into place. Along with this extra piece that I guess somehow goes in front of it or behind it. It looks very weird that they would add it as a separate piece, unless that was a mistake. Uh, but I'm gonna put that on right now and uh, put on the other extra little pieces that go on each of the platforms, all right? All right, so now we're looking at the back piece of the playset, and here are some extra, I guess, support beams to help you hold this giant cardboard piece into place. So, um, I'm not sure which way. Okay, I think these pieces right here, they should go in like that on this piece. And I'll show you how I did that with the other side. So, see that spot right there? That just slides in there like that. All right, and then these two pieces should connect to this big long piece. But make sure on this side, that right there is um, facing towards this way, I guess, more towards your, I guess, right side where that hole is because I'm assuming that's where that's gonna go. So let's place those in there like that. If I can get it in there, there we go. This one came loose. Uh, okay, now it's back in there really good. And notice these two pieces on the bottom, they're gonna go right in those holes right there. So just wanna, there you go, force it down. And you'll know it's in there when you hear it, you know, snaps into place very securely. And of course, that other piece I said that was up there, that's gonna go into that hole. I don't know if you can see that. So that's gonna plug in right into there. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna to get to that part last because I think this part is just optional. Like you can have it there if you want to or not because if you put it there, it's gonna cover the uh, sewer cover. So I'm gonna to get to that very last. But for now, let's get all to the fun little pieces that's supposed to attach to this playset. So move the camera back a little bit. All right, so. This part right here is where this red piece goes, this red manhole cover. So let's put that in there. There we go. And there's a little groove right here on the side. So you have some space to put your like fingernail in there and just lift that up, which is pretty nice. All right. So right here is supposed to be a small grate. If I can find it, this piece right here. So that goes in, if I can get it, it's a little hard to do. Uh, let's see if I can get it, there we go. Got it. Oops, I'm covering it up with my hand. There you go, you guys can see that. So the reason for that is for this. This is supposed to go behind it so you could actually slide this through and fire a missile launcher. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that, hold on. All right, guys, we are down on the first floor of the sewer layer playset. We are looking behind it, and remember that grate I just showed you right there? That's where this is supposed to, you know, go through and fire a missile. So uh, what you want to do is you see this gray piece on top of it? Turn that so it's facing this way. So it looks like this. And there's supposed to be a slot up there. You see that? where my finger's pointing, that just slides right in there. And that will stay up there and that could slide through the the, uh, the grate. So now I'm going to flip this back around and show you guys. All right, so where did I put that missile? Whoops, almost lost the missile. It's right here. Um, so if I could put my hand behind there, there's the missile launcher. 
Now there's a button on the side to fire the missile. So I'll put that in there right now to show you guys. I mean, I'll probably show this again when I do the actual review for this. There it goes. And then I could fire that up. There it goes. Awesome. All right, so there's still more stuff that has to go on the uh, first floor of the Epic Sewer Layer playset. So for example, we have Raphael's uh, workout bench here with the dumbbell. So this is not actually fully put together yet. So this piece in the instructions is telling me to connect this to that part of the bench where those two slots are right there. So if I can just, there we go. They just snap into place. And the dumbbell for Raphael, that just goes right in there. Whoops, right, right in there. There we go. And I'm not sure if there's pegs on the bottom. Uh, there is. All right, so let's go to Raphael's room and connect that piece. All right, easier way to do this is to go behind the playset or just turn the playset completely around and see where those peg holes are at. That's where you want to put Raph's uh, bench there. And make sure those are, whoops. There we go. Then we'll just put this piece on there like that. That just launches like that. It's pretty cool. All right. So now let's go to, I think that's, is that Leo? Yeah, it's Leo's room over there and connect the weapon racks. All right, so for Leo's rotating weapon rack, it's just one piece. So uh, you see where that hole is right there? That's where this is gonna go. So that's just gonna plug in there. And I guess that's how it rotates. You just use your hands and just turn it. And of course you could put the turtles weapons in there for storage, pretty cool. All right, so up here, I believe some extra stuff goes on here and on the front of this. So let's turn this back around. All right, so over here in this room, it's missing this piece right here, which should just uh, connect. I think it connects uh, under it, maybe. Because mm. it's not looking like it connects on top, so. I'm gonna have to put down the camera for this. Hold on one minute. All right, I got it now. I had to flip it the other way. So basically I had to flip it upside down and connect it underneath. At least I think that's correct. If it's wrong, I could always, you know, flip it back over. As for the front of this, see those two holes? That's where this is gonna go. Now these look like they can move, but they actually don't. They do not move. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to do that with one hand. Might be tricky. Oh, okay, that was pretty easy. I don't know if I'm supposed to hear a snapping sound. Uh, huh. Well, they're in pretty securely. They're not gonna go anywhere. All right, so I believe there's a slide that I think connects all the way up here and goes all the way down there from the back. So let's do that. All right, so had to turn this around yet again. Now here are two pieces of the slide and I think they connect this way. Yeah, it looks like they connect together pretty well. There we go, make sure to snap together. Now, um, this piece should go into that slot right there. And these pieces, I think, connects around this opening, or just like, you know, the bottom piece of that opening. So, I may try to connect it to this piece first. And I think that's supposed to be Mikey's room, because of the color orange on that door. So, all right, that's in. Now, Okay, make sure this part is in securely right there. There we go. Now, while I was turning this around, 
I found out that I think I actually did put that part in the right way because check this out. Now, pay attention to that grate right there. When I turn this valve, it opens up. Isn't that cool? So I guess Mikey can slide down this into Raphael's room. How cool is that? I'll move the camera down a little bit so you can see Raphael's room down there. So yeah, just slide Mikey down there. I guess, well, let's see. If I turn this, put that back in the, well, hold that up like that, let go. And that should stay into place. Okay, so that's how you get that to stay back in place. But if you have that obviously um, not open, then Mikey will just slide down to that floor where he could skateboard that ramp, I guess. So right across from Mikey's room is uh, Donatella's room, which I have to set up his computers. And uh, they don't have any stickers on them yet. I'm going to put the stickers on last, so uh, don't worry. If you want to see what the sticker sheet looks like, here they are. Here's all of the stickers right there oh yeah uh so don't worry about that um you'll see the stickers on this in the next video this piece right here with all the computer screens is supposed to go on this side right here the side that's closest to uh mikey's door right there i guess it seems like okay i think okay there we go i got it and this other side here of uh, all of these uh, gadgets. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, but these go on the opposite side of that. There we go. And as stated in the instructions, it comes with these extra pipes that go on the side of those. So this, oh, I see. Okay, so this would go on the side of this and this part is supposed to connect underneath this. All right, I did it. It was actually not that bad. Uh, just make sure you have the pipes in the correct sides, and I think this is the way they are supposed to look like. Uh, I mean, this pipe was the correct one to fit on this one, and this one is the correct one to fit on this side. So, yeah, I'm guessing that is what it is supposed to look like. And, of course, you know, they're supposed to put into a uh, small hole underneath the top platform. What's next? What's next? Well, let's see. We have two basketball hoops. Now, this one, the smaller one, is supposed to go over this switch down here. Here, I'll move the camera down. There we go. It's supposed to go over that, and that's to control those um, wall panels with the arcade machines. But I stated earlier, uh, I had trouble pushing down that switch to activate those. I'm not sure if I put those in the wrong way. Um, maybe it might work better if I put the basketball hoop on, so let's find out. So that just goes over that. There you go. And let's see. Ah, it seems... Okay. All right, it seems a lot easier this time. Yeah. So now that I have the basketball hoop over the switch, it seems a lot easier to do that. It was a lot harder to do it without it, huh? All right, so it looks like I put in everything correctly. <laughs> Whew, that is a relief. So now let's put in the big basketball hoop, which actually goes on uh, this floor. So I'm gonna have to move the camera up. There we go, that should be enough. So I think there's two holes right there on that layer and that's what those plug into for that basketball hoop there we go make sure it's snapped in there good now from what i've seen uh this can go down like that now there's no switch to activate that at least i don't think there is let me see no it's not for that uh this is for something else i believe let me see yeah uh, yeah, no switch for this. This is just for you to hang your figures off of and I guess, you know, to do a slam dunk <laughs> when they're playing basketball in their epic sewer lair. Uh, I'm actually re really worried about that, if that will weaken over time and it'll end up getting loose. I hope that does not get loose over time because I don't want this, you know, hanging down all the time. All right. Uh, what else is there? Oh, yeah. This 
thing right here, this uh, fence or grating, this actually goes on the side over here. And there's another one to put on the other side. Whoops. There we go. It's in. There it is. I'll turn to the playset so you can see that. All right. And yeah, there's one that's supposed to go on. Well, there's a special one for that part right there, but there is another grating that actually goes. Oh, it actually goes down here. So where is it? Ah, there it is. Found it. So this one, I don't know why that would be a good spot for that, but obviously that's what it's for. There you go. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what this part is for. All right, so notice that thing right there, that button. Yeah, it's for something right there. And that something is a balcony, which I do not have put together yet, but I'm gonna show you how to put that together. So this is actually supposed to be up like that. And there's supposed to be these extra, I guess, lamp pieces to put under there, as you can see where they match up. So just plug in that uh, that giant lamp piece right there. Hold on. Okay, I just heard that side snap in. I'm trying to get the other pieces to snap into place. Okay, there it is. They should be insecure. So, um, hmm. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so those plug into those holes right there. So let's do that. There we go, okay. So, now when you push the button right there, uh, right there, that should fall. Uh, that's made for like your origami foot soldiers or whoever you wanna put up there. That's pretty fun. Now notice there's no sidings. That's because I have to attach those. It comes with uh, two sidings right here. And there's two peg holes in there so you could just plug those into place. Okay, so I got that side in. Now I will have to do the other side. <clears throat> uh, let's see. There it is, okay. So now uh, your figures should be nicely secured in there now that you know it has all the sidings on. Uh, how well does it stand over that piece? Pretty good, as you can see I'm tapping it down with my finger. So I was just testing it just to see if it'll like, you know, fall down like that with ease in case if I try to stand a figure in there, I don't want it to fall down on its own, obviously. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Okay. So, oh yeah. The Epic Sewer Layer playset. All right. Sorry, I just had to zoom out a little bit. The Epic Sewer Layer playset includes an extra skateboard for your action figures. How cool is that? So I guess this is for Michelangelo, but his toy already comes with a skateboard. Leo also comes with, with a skateboard, but you can use this for either April, uh, Donnie, or Raph. I would probably use this for April because it's yellow. So uh, notice the side right here. It actually comes with a ladder for you to attach right there on the side of the Epic Sewer Layer playset. There we go, it's in, okay. And it actually stays in there pretty good. And there, of course, there's an opening so you can have an action figure crawl in there into their Sewer Layer playset, which is pretty cool. And uh, this manhole cover, uh, this is actually for the top part, so let's go to the top of the playset. All right, so this manhole cover actually goes in this piece right here. If I can uh, do that with one hand. There we go, it's in there. And is there a spot where my finger could fit in? Excellent, yeah, there's like a little opening right here where you could put your finger and open that up next to that uh, fire hydrant. Uh, for the rest of these pieces, now, I just laid them out where they went. So this one goes in front of here, I think. Yeah, that one goes in front of there. I can't do that with one hand. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can try. 
Uh, uh, yeah, it's a little, there we go, did it, okay, um, which one, oh, right, okay, this one right here that looks like half of this, this actually goes in front right there, as you can see, that matches where that goes, okay, and this one, this one piece right there actually goes in there, all right? And you have this grating, which you can actually put in any way you want. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you once you get your own playset. Uh, I'm going to put it this way, just in case if there's any stickers for that. I want the stickers to, to uh, you know, to face forward so people can actually see the sticker on there. So actually, oh, that's right. That This... Is for that underneath there. Okay, so playset is somewhat complete. <laughs> uh, I still have this background piece right here, which is, I guess, supposed to go over that manhole cover. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, um, hmm. I mean, if I put it there like that, I mean, yeah, it's a little, yeah, it's a little weird. So uh, I'm gonna say that's a optional piece. Like you can have that in there if you want to or not. Uh, it's a little weird though because it's covering up that manhole cover. But I'm guessing you're not supposed to, um, I guess like secure it in there, just like have it loose so you could you know remove it anytime you want to. All right. Uh, they actually made a mistake with my playset, um, or at least at the factory or whatever, they made a mistake uh, packaging this up in a box because I will show you what I mean. Uh, this side right here, they sent me two pieces. <laughs> uh, I'm only supposed to have one and that's for this side. Uh, this is actually not meant for the other side. This is just meant for this side as well. Um, this, this, this is not what I was supposed to get. Actually, I was supposed to get a different piece that was supposed to go down here. So I'm I'm missing a piece that's supposed to go in these two holes right here. And I guess it's supposed to help support, you know, support um, the second layer and the, uh, the first layer of the playset. I will show you which piece that is in the instruction manual. It's uh, number eight, that one right there. That is the piece I do not have. So yeah, there was a slight mistake when they were packaging this at the factory, I guess, because uh, yeah, I was supposed to have that to go right there. And instead they gave me <laughs> a extra piece from uh, this side right here. And that was not supposed to happen. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, I guess it's okay. I mean, all of the rest of the pieces are in there, except for that one piece that's supposed to go in there, but that's all right. I mean, everything else came inside the box and, um, yeah, it's mostly put together. Uh, except for these things right here, these here, these right here, these are actually for the, uh, the background piece to help you secure those into place a lot better. I'm not sure where you're supposed to put them. I'm yeah, over these, I think. Here, I'll hold the camera closer. So see those red pieces right there are sticking out the background. That's what these are for. You just, I guess, clip them over there and that will help this piece, this giant uh, cardboard piece, stay in there a lot better. All right, guys, I finally put the stickers on. As you can see, and uh, don't make the same mistake I did and put the stickers on after. <laughs> uh, you might want to put the stickers on some of these pieces before you put this playset together. Uh, some of it is really easy, but some of it was really, really difficult. And I almost had a false alarm with this trash can. I was missing it off to the side of the couch, but uh, that's another piece I had to attach to this playset. And um, as you can see, this is one of the stickers right here on this sign for both sides right there. Uh, this was hard to put on 
after I put the playset together, so I would recommend putting this on, on uh, putting the stickers on, that is, before you put that on the playset. Uh, these were easy, putting these stickers on, that was easy. Doing the other basketball hoop was easy. Uh, those were kind of hard, so you might want to put those stickers on before you put those uh, pieces together. And definitely in Leonardo's room right here, you see where those computer screens are? That was extremely difficult. Um, I was able to do it because I was like super careful putting the stickers on, but it might be hard for you guys, so I would recommend putting the stickers on the computer screen before you put the sewer, la uh, sewer layer playset together. Uh, that was easy to put on right there. The uh, danger keep out no excess sign right there all right uh the mutagen ooze that was really easy to put in there uh, i'm trying to think what else was easy and what else was difficult to put on for the stickers um hmm that's about it um this was like super easy because you know it's just right there and you don't really have to get any type spaces to get those stickers on there so that this was super easy to get on that uh, slide or uh, ramp I mean raft there's a raft sticker now you can put that wherever you want I just put it next to Raphael's room since that's Raphael's room right there but yeah I'm just letting you guys know if you put this together first um, the hardest stickers to put on will be for uh, Donatello's room, the arcade machines, and these windows right here. Because it looks easy, but it actually was not. But everything else was pretty easy to get on. And I still have some stickers left over, as I will show you. So, they do give you an extra, um, where is it? Yeah, danger keep out sign that goes on that door right there. So they give you two of those. Everything else was used up. You get these uh, extra, I guess, graffiti stickers for Michelangelo's skateboard ramp. I haven't decided where I want to put those yet, so I decided to leave them on there. All right. So, uh, yeah. Stickers are on this thing, and this thing is complete. Stay tuned for the actual review in the next video. All right, cowabunga.